Riveting is a great technique for joining two pieces with a strong and permanent mechanical bond. However, you can't just rivet two pieces of latex directly to each other because the natural stretch will allow the rivet to pop out, even under minimal tension. To deal with this problem, you need to eliminate the stretch by reinforcing the area immediately surrounding the rivet. You can do this by applying a small piece of non-stretched fabric to the area which will hold the rivet. Here we have some cotton tape which has been coated with liquid latex and it is applied to one side of the latex sheeting which has already been cleaned and glued. Press the tape down lightly, making sure to leave a small margin around the edges. Approximately 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters should be sufficient. Next, you will need to apply a backing layer of latex that is big enough to cover the fabric and the margins around it. Gently press the backing layer into place so that all the glued surfaces have made contact. Secure this assembly with a roller, making sure to use good pressure over the fabric reinforcements. Use the corners of the roller along the edges of the fabric to remove any lingering air pockets. When this is finished, you should be able to clearly see the outline of your fabric reinforcement and even some of its texture, depending on the thickness of your latex. The next step is to punch holes where the rivets will be placed. It's a good idea to line up your pieces first, to check where you will place the hole, and to make sure there is enough overlap in your reinforcements. There are several tools that you can use to punch holes in your reinforced latex. In this case, I am using a set of prim vario pliers with the mid-sized 3mm hole punching head. Carefully position your punch in the middle of the reinforcement. Check both sides, if possible, for proper alignment. Use slow and steady pressure to punch through all the layers. Sometimes, a second punch is required to get a clean hole. Now punch a matching hole in the second piece. You now have two pieces of reinforced latex with matching holes to accept a rivet. The final step is to set the rivet. Rivets typically come in two pieces. The first is the rivet head, which looks like a top hat with the hole in the wrong end. The second is the rivet post, which is longer and more narrow than the head. Insert the head into your front-facing piece of latex. It should go in with a little bit of resistance and sit snugly in the hole. Next, you will need to line up the hole in your back-facing piece with the opening in the rivet head. If your pieces are thin enough, you may be able to get both of them sitting on the head. You can sometimes glue both pieces together ahead of time to make this more manageable. Insert the rivet post through the back facing piece so that it sits loosely in the head. Next, you will need to find a sturdy piece of metal to use as a striking surface. Here, I'm using the bottom piece of a hand grommet setting die. Place your assembly on the striking surface with the rivet head down and hold it gently in place so that it doesn't bounce around too much. Finally, Secure the rivet by striking the rivet post with a hammer. Four or five good strikes should be sufficient. 
Check to ensure that both sides of the rivet are flat and fairly flush with the latex, with no sharp edges poking up. Now try tugging on your two pieces. You should be able to put quite a lot of tension on this joint and it will remain very strong and secure. You now have a very simple and straightforward technique for setting rivets in latex. Now go practice and happy riveting.